I'm Dan Sheldon. In this next video, I'm going to teach you some static stretches for your post-workout cool-down stretch. The cool-down stretch is very important because it increases muscle flexibility and range of motion. It also helps to reduce the lactic acid buildup in your muscles that causes soreness. Your post-workout cool-down stretch should be about 5 to 10 minutes long, and I like to start with stretching the largest muscles in the core first. To perform the supine stretch, bend your leg 90 degrees and lean over your knees. You should feel the stretch in your glutes, hips, and lower back. Another good glute, hip, and lower back stretch is the seated pretzel. Bend one leg and cross it over the other. Use your opposite elbow to push against your bent knee to get the extra stretch. You can increase the stretch by pulling your bent leg up towards your chest. To do the crossover stretch, lay on your back, lift one leg and cross it over your body, keeping your shoulders flat on the ground. Next, we are going to stretch the hamstrings. To perform the hurdler stretch, sit in the ground and bend one leg behind your body. Then lean forward on your straight leg to stretch the hamstring. Hold this stretch for at least 8 seconds and then lean back to stretch the hip flexor on the bent leg. Perform the triangle stretch. Spread your legs and lean over each leg, bringing your hands to your feet. Keep your legs straight and try to hold each stretch for 8 seconds before moving from one leg to the other. Once you have isolated each leg, stretch both hamstrings together by reaching down in the middle. The assistant hamstring stretch involves lying flat on your back and lifting one leg straight up. Use your hands, a towel, or a band to help pull your leg forward. The first growing stretch is called the butterfly. In a seated position, bend your legs and bring the soles of your feet together. Use your hands to pull your body into your feet to get that good stretch in the groin. The next groin stretch is called the frog. Squat down with your toes facing out. Then place your hands on the ground and use your elbows to push out against your inner knee to stretch the groin. You can also do this by spreading your knees on the ground and using your body weight to get that extra stretch. Another good groin stretch is a side lunge. Lunge in one direction and keep the other leg straight to get a good groin stretch. Then switch and stretch the other side. The forward lunge is a great way to stretch the hip flexor and quads. Make sure to keep your back leg straight and bring your inner elbow to your heel. You can also do this by dropping your knee to the ground and leaning forward. To get a better stretch on the quad, grab your ankle and pull your heel upwards towards your butt. Another good way to stretch your hip flexor and quad is to lie on your side, grab your ankle and pull your leg back. You can also stretch your quad and hip flexor while performing the hurdler stretch by leaning back and laying on the ground. Another quick and simple quad stretch involves standing on one leg, grabbing your ankle, and pulling your heel to your butt. Same as the previous stretch, just perform in a standing position. The best way to stretch the calves and the Achilles is the pyramid stretch. Bend at the waist, place your hands and feet on the ground in a pyramid position. Stretch your calves by trying to push your heel down towards the ground. You can also do this stretch pushing against the wall. Lastly, we need to stretch the upper body, starting with the shoulders by doing arm hugs. Start by swinging your arms across your chest, then hug each arm into your chest to stretch the shoulders. To stretch your lats and triceps, reach one arm over your head and pull your wrist with the other. Again, hold each stretch for at least eight seconds. To stretch your neck and traps, reach one hand behind your back and grab your wrist and pull. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and start checking out all of my other training videos so you can start to invest in your athletic success.